Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you how I achieved these beautiful jumbo tips. I used three packs of the Afro Natural Soft and Silky Kinky Hair. I will list all the products down on the description box. If this is your first time here, welcome to the braiding community. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just click on the red button, the subscribe button, and join the braiding community. Learn how to braid your hair by yourself. So I always try to start with the tangled hair. As you can see, I have 4C hair and my hair is prone to tangling. I did not use a blow dryer to detangle my hair. I just detangled with it with some twists and that's why it looks the way it looks. This is not the perfect um, detangling, but this is good enough for me to braid with. Whenever I start a braid, I always try to start with a braid and then twist. Some people like to start with a twist from the bottom, but I see that, I find that it can, um, hold on to my roots too tight and cause breakage so I would braid it a little and then I twist it so that is exactly what I've done here so I did a few braids and then once it was anchored then I began to twist if you watch my video when I did the spring twist I used the same technique you could also use a clip to hold the hair to prevent it from twisting too much so because I was doing jumbo twists, I didn't really need to use a clip because it was big enough and it wasn't really twisting. So this hair comes with um, like a seal or like a matted um, ending. So I use the comb to try and detangle it a little bit so that I'll be able to twist it and form a seal. So like I said earlier, braid a few times and then once it's anchored, begin to twist. And that way I'm not twisting my hair from the roots. So like I told you, I literally need to detangle the ends of the hair so that when I'm twisting, I'm able, it's able to form a proper seal. I've learned how to twist in both directions now but if you can only twist in one direction that's fine twist it whichever direction you're able to and it's still going to come out nice as long as you're twisting all in the same direction I'm left-handed so everything I'm doing is going in the left direction So before I do my braids, I always ensure that I start with washed hair and moisturized hair. And when I do my braids, I use the less jam to lay down the edges around the perimeters of the braid. But I also use my Momo's Natural Butter to seal in the moisture. So I'm not light handed at this point because I want to ensure that the moisture that I have infused into my hair during my wash day does not just, you know, deplete easily, especially because the extensions have the potential to take away moisture from your hair. So I use my butters to ensure that the moisture is sealed into my hair. Please use clips. I find that I really don't use clips often. Actually, I try to form the habit, but I find that I, I'm used to doing my hair without clips. I started braiding my hair when there were no clips. So clips is almost like an added um, work for me, but clips actually help you when you're braiding. People always ask me, how do you get your parts straight? 
to be honest i think i just mainly feel with my fingers i don't try to be perfect i cut the parts as straight as i can and i'm especially when i'm filming as well i feel any flyaway hairs with my finger i just ensure that the lines are as straight as i can and that's just it really um i think if you as you practice you tend to get the hang of it So this is the back if you notice i did it really big i didn't really care i just at this point i needed to get this hair done i was braiding my hair in, in the night and i needed to get the hair done normally i would have braided i'd have made that layer much smaller and i would have done maybe four on this layer but i did three on this layer because i just had to make sure that i was doing it so like i said put my jam Jam is a bit better than gel and it's not like a wax, but just ensure that you're not rubbing it on your scalp. It should kind of go on the hair rather than the scalp to avoid any congestion on your scalp that can cause buildup and then congestion. You know that feeling when you have one left? This is how I felt at this point. Um, you know what I told you about sealing the moisture with butter? I'm not playing with the butter. I'm making sure that I'm sealing that moisture in. Just to give you another angle so i braid a few times and then i start to twist And now I'm finally doing the last one. Yay, nearly done. I never really actually counted how many braids I did, but I don't think they were up to 50 because they were done quite big. And now I'm finished. So I just put a little bit of oil on my scalp where it was slightly dry, but try not to overdo it. Yeah, this was actually a week later because I never got the chance to record um, again. So the next time I was able to record my finished look was a week later and I'm just accessorizing here. I use the beads, I just put them around different parts of the hair and then I'm just using this gold rope. Everything can be purchased on Amazon or in your local beauty shops. Like I said, all the products are listed in the description box. So you can style this hair in different ways. You can put it up in a bun, you can leave it down. It's quite light and it's really versatile and that's one of the reasons I like it. It's it has a rough look so I mean even when it's getting old if you brush it it still looks nice but ensure that you're not keeping your hair too long guys if you've enjoyed this and if you like the finished look give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments other styles you would like to see and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye